hey y'all and welcome back to my channel today i am going to be showing y'all how to make the best chicken parmesan recipe but first before we get started be sure that you are subscribed to my channel go ahead and press that thumbs up button and turn on those bell notifications so that you will be notified for all of my videos You are obviously gonna need some chicken breast. This is the thin sliced chicken breast. You're gonna need some black pepper, some sea salt. Well, I'm using sea salt, but you can really use whatever kind of salt you want to use. I'm gonna also be using some marinara sauce. You guys, I actually recommend, I actually recommend that you use the Rayo's marinara sauce because it's something about their sauce that is just I don't know it's just it's special it tastes special okay um you're also going to need some parmesan cheese this is my favorite brand i have the block i got this really big block from costco and i've had this block for about two weeks now and um so it's lasted pretty long and then i also picked up the shredded parmesan cheese just in case i don't feel like shredding this block and then you're also gonna need some Parmesan, I mean some mozzarella cheese. You're gonna need some olive oil, vegetable oil or canola oil, but this is what we had, so. And then you're also gonna need some all-purpose flour and some plain panko breadcrumbs. All right, you guys, I've thinned my other chicken breast because I did add a few extra chicken breasts um, to the mix. Um, I thinned them out and now I'm getting ready to flatten them out even more. So I just laid them on some aluminum foil and then I covered it with some plastic wrap and I'm just gonna go in like this until they're as thin to my liking. chicken breast I'm just salting it up right here flip it now usually with chicken parmesan you want to use eggs for it but today we are going to be using olive oil instead of egg egg wash because y'all know we have at least one egg allergy. Well, at least really two egg allergies. So I don't wanna risk it and I don't wanna cause anybody to have a reaction. So now that we've done that, um, I am gonna go ahead and create my, what's this called? Like a assembly line, yeah. So I'm gonna have flour on this plate and panko on the other plate. Woo, yeah! I don't know how much we're gonna need, but we just gonna, we just gonna wing it, guys. And yes, I'm working with one hand because I don't wanna cross the cam. Uh-oh. Cross the what? Contam. I wish I had like a cup measure so I could scoop out more like a official scooper. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. So this flour, I am gonna be seasoning this flour with salt 
and black pepper. And I think for the breadcrumbs, I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do Italian seasoning in the breadcrumbs. And what else should I do? Some Parmesan cheese? And sure. that with a couple? Shredded Parmesan cheese. In the do we have shredded Parmesan cheese? Yes, we do. We have the block. No, we have the shredded. that you see here. That is the Parmesan cheese that I added to the breadcrumbs. Um, that is absolutely optional. Like you do not have to um, add that to your panko breadcrumbs. But y'all know I'm a little extra sometimes. So now I am getting ready to transfer these chicken, these chicken breasts to a bacon dish. I may have to use two separate ones just uh, because I don't have a ton of space on this and I have quite a bit of chicken. Okay y'all, so I have my sauce here and I have some shredded up Parmesan cheese. I did end up shredding up some from the block that I got from Costco just because it melts better when I shred it up on this setting right here, the big chunky. I have my mozzarella cheese here. And babe, can you hand me the parsley flakes? Just because I feel like being dramatic. I'm gonna just add some sauce to the bottom of the pan. And this is hot because I warmed it up on my stove before. Put it in here. I'm trying to think, should I cut these pieces up? And I'm just gonna go in and lay. Some of my chicken breast lost some of its breading. Huh? You need another pan. Probably. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need another pan. Um, some of my chicken breast lost 
some of it's breading, but it is all good. So like, for example, this one lost breading when I dropped it in the oil. And I'm pretty sure it's because um, we did not use eggs. form like a little brown little spots on the top of it don't you babe <laughs> at this point you don't care huh um but y'all it's just so it's raining outside i have all of my family here and we are just gonna eat really good it's just you know i think that this is a nice a nice cozy meal i made some spaghetti noodles for the kids to have i'm pretty sure babe is gonna have some pasta as well I think I'm gonna just stick with broccoli. I was thinking about sauteing me some spinach, or I don't know, I might just have me some pasta. I don't know. So yeah, it's just a nice, cozy Saturday evening. It's the day before Super Bowl, and yeah. What's wrong? What is our night? What is our night? This is just a family night. Ooh, y'all, don't this look amazing? We're gonna tear them up. Okay. All right, y'all, so as y'all can see, it looks absolutely amazing. I'm getting ready to plate it up, and then I'm gonna show y'all that, and then we gonna eat. Oh, okay. would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Or would you stay with me now till the morning light for you? This is our meal plated, you guys. And as you can see, it looks really good. So this is my plate. As you can see, I am not eating any of the pasta. I just have the chicken and the broccoli. So, still yummy. Mm -hmm. Babe's gonna taste it. Yeah. Is it yummy, kids? Kids like it. Is it good? Yeah. Yay! Kids like it too. Yay. Yummy, yummy. All right, guys. All right, guys. So that is all that we have for this cooking video. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more cooking videos, for one, give this video a thumbs up. Two, let us know down below in the comment section what video or what meal you would like to see us cook next, and we might can make it happen. All right, guys, so we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.